This episode is brought to you by Pulsar. Did you did you pick up the guitar so that it was a way for you to travel around in the US too? Yeah, that became a way actually. You know, when I got like when you were busking, yeah, yeah, when I f- uh, got comfortable with it, you know, I was like, yeah, I can, you know, and I can do this now, you know, and like I started playing and in some places and streets and you know started busking, you know. That's when I found out the thing like this is called busking, right? Holy shit, where is this? Yeah, this California? Is, no, that's in Ocean City, Maryland. Oh, this is Maryland. Yeah, it's a very nice, pretty town, you know, just like in summer, all the people from all over comes there and, you know, like uh, it's a nice place to mingle and meet people and, you know, put, you know, see a lot of stuff. Like there are people like doing arts and, you know, every, all kinds of things happening. You know. So you moved to the U.S. when you were in, in, like in your uh, mid, late teens. Yeah. Totally. Where did you end up first? Where did where, where did you I go first? I ended up in Kansas. You know, that was the first place I went. To. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Kansas Wichita. City. Wichita. No, no, oh, no, no, Kansas City. It's like uh, Wichita, Kansas. Though. Wichita, Kansas. Yeah, that's totally. where that's where you were. Yeah, yeah. How was the first day in the U.S.? Oh, it was so nice. You know, I got to reunite with my family, and you know, they cooked great, you know, dinner and stuff, and you know, I felt like, no, uh, yeah, you know, like some kind of happiness, you know, in a way. Yeah, it was good. You know. There, at that time, there was nothing. You were not near music at that moment, were you? I mean, I, I was into music. You know, I think I listened to music while I, the whole time I was in the flight too. You know, were so. you playing at that time? Oh uh, no, 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 you I were into playing. sports yeah, and yeah, other yeah. things, right? Yeah. I mean, I wasn't uh, playing music, and I mean, I played some gigs before that too, yeah. like uh, some pubs and stuff. Like uh, that was just like the starting era. I've, you know, that was the point like I was like yeah maybe I think this can I can do that too you know I used to go see a lot of live bands in pubs and, and stuff and but maybe I could play too you know and stuff like and I wanted to try it out and some of my friends were interested in on it too and so we've played a few gigs before that um, but we were doing a lot of covers and stuff right what and, kind of songs were you playing here I mean just like kind of you know the classic rocks um, you know, of like uh, one of Creedence Clearwater. Yeah. Um, uh, and a lot of those stuff, like in you know, the usual song, they play in bars and stuff here. Where did, where all did you play? Do you remember? And there was this pub called like um, At Stuo in like oh, yeah. yeah yeah. So that was the that's the first place I played, and uh, you know the guy just hired us for like a couple of gigs or stuff, and you know. I mean, you'd say, yeah, can we, if you want to, you know, we just... Open. So they, the thing was, like, they didn't have live music there. They just opened the club, right? That was in the beginning of the club, like, their opening. And we were the first band to play live music there, too. You know? Oh, yeah? So, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, do we still have H2O? H2O? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure we still have H2O. And then where else do you play? Uh, I mean, like, uh, yeah, that was, I think, pretty much the place where I played in. That's too, and like I think maybe we played one time in this bar called Lhasa. Or Lhasa, yeah. Yeah, if I remember it correctly, but uh, yeah, but it was just like uh, the time I went to, you know, just like a few months, like around like uh, maybe f- five, six months before I went to U.S. And I just, you know, I had that experience to play a few gigs. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. How many people in the band at the time? So there was just like, you know, you know, we had this like acoustic band, if you, you know, if you want, uh, like to say so, because it was just like um, one Cajun player and, you know, bassist and one guitarist and me, just like four piece band. Are you still in touch with your friends? Yeah, like I met one friend, like I was, you know, some time ago. They like, you know. What did they say? How 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 do they feel about you being uh, who you I'm, are now? You know, it's just like they feel, you know. I mean, we still feel the same way, but yeah. like we're changed as a person and stuff. You know, we do different things, but I think they're proud of it. You know, in a way, like exactly. yeah, and, you know. They, but we are still, you know, we grew up together and we still feel the same way. I think. That's so fun about old <laughs> friends, eh? Like with old friends, it's yeah. still the same. It I mean, doesn't matter who you are now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you know, the it does actually. You know, actually, it does. Like, cause you have new perspective like you know but like there is that feeling right like oh yeah we you know i used to know this guy like when i was 
you know, young and stuff. And like we grew up together, you know, and like there's still that mutual bond, you know, with them. But like, uh, you know, but we are in the present too, you know, and we kind of have to be in the present too, in a way. So there is a little bit of differences, but more, most of, there is more amount of similarities. You know? yeah, 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 and yeah, when I think about it, you know, old friends are like, tomorrow I'm meeting my very close friend, you know, in school we were not that close, but later in, later in life we became super close. Mm -hmm. And I really like him and his wife and his daughter and I'm going to the birthday party and I was thinking about it, you know, on the, on this ride, you know, when I was riding, or riding yeah. across uh, India and Nepal, I was thinking about it, I was like, with old friends that you grew up with when you were like little, you know, yeah, yeah. and you grew up with those people, the bond that you have is completely different than people that you meet now in your life, you know, as you, in your like, it, now it's yeah, different. Yeah. But with those friends, like even if you see them today, you're still going to be like, hey, kise Oh, yeah, totally. You yeah, know, right. you can yeah, yeah. pick up from wherever. Yeah, it's like, you know, yeah. That's your comfort zone, you know, exactly. just like, I mean, in a way, you know, just like, yeah, that's how it feels, you know, that I, you know, I, I, I hear you, I mean, you know, that's very mutual feeling, I mean, I feel the same way about some of the old friends, you know, I grew up with <laughs> and yeah. stuff, yeah. Yeah, man, that's, that's, that's so, that's so, that's so true. If you love what we are doing, make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you very much for watching us on YouTube. Make sure that you also listen to us on Spotify. This episode is brought to you by Pulsar.